So here is one of the exhibits that we were presenting to people um, last night at the community workshop. Uh, the drawings were all developed this week. When we came to town and uh, had our first meetings on Monday, we were really still in the listening phase. And we used these three days to really dive into some of the ideas that the community had shared with us about how to improve the standards and the design for these multifamily buildings. So this illustration, um, which shows a multifamily neighborhood, can actually be pulled apart into multiple components to show how the standards could result in a different kind of multifamily project than you've seen here today. Um, so a couple of things to notice in the drawing here. We have buildings that front out onto internal streets, local streets, and uh, usable community uh, park spaces, small neighborhood park spaces. All of the buildings have front doors, they have porches and balconies and awnings that create that public space with a very neighborly look and feel. Um, on this side, we're showing townhouses, and across the street, we're showing three-story multifamily buildings. Um, you can start to see some of those building elements and the building design that break them down into uh, pedestrian scale and human scale buildings. So along the townhouses, you see terraces, you see planting along the edge. There's a very clear definition of where the private yard stops and the public sidewalk begins. Um, box bays, you have awnings, balconies, and you have a variety of different roof lines that start to uh, create interest along that street. In the public realm, uh, you have streets with on-street parking, uh, human-scaled lights and shade trees that provide comfort. Um, and here we've shown taking some of uh, what previously was not usable open space and putting it into an amenity space for those residents um, that could have sidewalks, benches, seating areas, shared gardens, or even uh, water features and play areas for children.